we have our next company is Labrador Gold. They are in one of my favorite places in the world, although they're Labrador Gold. Well, they're in Newfoundland, Labrador, but it's their Kingsway Gold Project that they're going to be talking to us about, and that is in the Gander Gold District of Newfoundland. Now, this gold district has been grabbing some attention recently. There's another company, Newfound Gold, recently had some pretty intense results from its Queensway project. It hit 93 grams over 19 meters. So here to tell us what Labrador Gold is up to and maybe what Newfound's results may mean to it is the CEO of Labrador Gold, Roger Moss. Now, Roger is a geologist with 14 years of international experience in the exploration industry. He was instrumental in the discovery of the Nabachab gold deposit in Namibia, which after 12 years of operation still contains reserves and resources of 3.7 million ounces of gold. He's conducted extensive research on hydrothermal ore deposits, culminating in a PhD in geology at the University of Toronto, which he completed in 2000. And prior to joining Nikos, Dr. Moss was vice president exploration for Amerigo Resources. Very good. Dr. Moss, are you there? Uh, yeah, thanks, Anthony. I am here. Uh, I'll try starting the video. There you go. Um, I'm actually coming to you today from Newfoundland, uh, Glenwood, Newfoundland, just across the, uh, just across the road from our core shack. And um, so hopefully the internet will be a little more stable here in Newfoundland. Well, we hope and we love it when executives <laughs> are coming to us from site, right across from the core shack. That is excellent. And when we're right. doing these events fully live, that just adds to some of the, the power and the energy of the whole endeavor. And it looks like, Roger, it looks like you have good sunshine there as well. Are we... And I was talking to my colleagues in Vancouver. It's sunny in Vancouver. I think these are one of these rare spring days where it's just warm right across the entire country of Canada. Oh yeah, we've been we've been having great great weather here. It's uh, it's been it's been pretty nice. So uh, can't complain about that. Great uh, great time to do field work. Excellent so um, I think I've got yeah. Can you see my screen there? We can. So I am going to turn it over to you now. Okay. And. Talk us through your story. Hang on, I got, I lost the screen. Okay, here we go. And I want to get. Uh, sorry, I'm just need to get this organized here for a slideshow. But um, anyway, just to just to start off, I think as as you mentioned earlier, Anthony, it's. Um, it's been quite a year for Labrador Gold. Um, we've uh, we have we do have our Kingsway pro project, which is uh, adjacent to Newfound Gold's Queensway project, as you mentioned. And um, there's a lot of things that have been happening here in the last little while that I'm going to run through here. This is our disclaimer. I will be making forward-looking statements today, so um, please be aware of that. And if you have a chance, check out this on our on our website, labradorgold.com. And we, we really believe that Newfoundland and Labrador is, is an excellent jurisdiction. It's, uh, it's a golden opportunity. There's lots of gold here in Newfoundland, as you are well aware. And uh, our flagship Kingsway project is right here in the Gander Gold District. We also have two Labrador projects with uh, excellent uh, district scale potential. I'm not going to talk about those right today. We have a very experienced exploration team, which I'll go into in a little bit. Uh, cash position is really strong. We have $35 million in the bank, no debt. In fact, uh, some of your listeners may have noticed today that we, uh, we just announced a 15 million uh, private 15 million private placement with Eric Sprott and Newfound Gold that was done above market. So um, that's a huge vote of confidence in what we're doing and what we have at Kingsway. And as I mentioned, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador is excellent jurisdiction, politically stable, very supportive of mineral exploration. So we couldn't be, we couldn't be happier to, to, than to be here. 
this is just uh, some of the exploration management. Um, myself and Matt Lapointe of EP Exploration are hands-on in the exploration, and we also have these two two people down here, Sean Ryan and Quentin Hennig, who your listeners are probably very uh, very familiar with, very accomplished uh, explorationists in their own right, and we're very very happy to have them both on board as technical advisors. 2020 was an incredible year for us. And um, you can see some of the things that we did here. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but uh, obviously the biggest thing was to get the, get the Kingsway project into our, into our project portfolio. That really kicked us off in a, in a big way. And uh, we did a lot of exploration in four months last year. Um, this is really a, a grassroots project. And uh, that exploration that we did last year um, resulted in the discovery of visible gold at uh, in a quartz vein, which we've which we've named Big Vein, and I'll get into that later. Um, obviously, with 35 million in the bank, we're more than fully funded for what we expect to be doing um, in 20 in 20 uh, yeah, this this year. And uh, in terms of the market, the liquidity has improved uh, substantially. And we've increased our, our average daily trading value from just under $1,000 a day to uh, almost $600,000 a day. So it's been, uh, it's been quite a year. So this is uh, the project as, as it looks. Um, our project, Labrador Gold, is uh, Kingsway Project is in the red salmon color here. And um, you can see uh, the Queensway Project of Newfound Gold in the yellow in the yellow down here to the south. We're tied on, we're tied on right here to, on, on the northeastern side. And I've also put in the, in the figure here, two of the first hits that they announced from the Queensway project, the Keep Zone, where as you mentioned, they hit uh, just under 93 grams a ton over 90 meters and the Lotto Zone a little bit further north, um, 41.2 over 4.75 meters. So, um, Again, as you've mentioned, incredible results uh, that continue to come from the Queensway project, the Keats zone and the Lotto zone. And uh, we are, I believe, uh, in the best position to, uh, to see any extensions from, from, that, uh, fr from that mineralization coming up through onto our property. Um, so we've got 77 square kilometers. Most importantly, we have 22 kilometers of strike length of two major faults, the Dog Bay Line and the Appleton Fault Zone. The Appleton Fault Zone has gotten most of the, of the glory recently because that is uh, closely associated to the, the Keats, both the mineralization at Keats Zone and at the Lotto Zone. And uh, we have a significant length of that fault running up through our Kingsway project. So uh, we're pretty happy about that. Obviously, being near to Ganda, it's a significant town here in Newfoundland, and uh, we're about 80 kilometers, so very good road accessibility, nearby electricity, and of course, lot, lots of water, as you can see there on the map. And we're looking for the same thing as Newfound Gold uh, have been finding. It's high-grade epizonal gold deposits associated with these major Crestal scale structures that I that I mentioned here and their their second order faults. This is a, sort of a regional scale on the southern part of our property. It's uh, what we've delineated over about seven and a half kilometers is a quartz vein corridor, and this is where we have intermittent quartz veining uh, over that seven and a half kilometers, and uh, it's immediately adjacent here to the Appleton Fault Zone, which is directly to the, to the southeast of that quartz vein corridor. We've got lots of gold in soil anomalies shown here in orange, and then some of the geology that's shown down through here, very similar um, to what we see further south at Queensway. And uh, right here, right here is where we found the visible gold at Big Vein, that orange star in the middle here. And more recently, or at, at, at the end of last year, we found uh, some more pretty pretty high grade, 16 grams a ton 
of gold and quartz vein, about a kilometer to the, to the south, and 165 gold grains in till, about a kilometer to the, to the north of this um, visible gold location. So we're looking at a seven and a half kilometer strike length within which we have big vein and the visible gold occurrences and other indications of gold along that same corridor. So this is big vein uh, uh, blow up or, or zoom in on, into big vein. You can see here visible gold occurrences and the dots on here are soil samples. Some of them are really incredible values. This is gold in soil, almost 10 grams a ton of gold in, in the actual soil, just to the north northwest of Big Vein, which is shown here in the red. This is what it looks like, uh, the photo down here in the, in the bottom left. This was what we call the discovery outcrop. And uh, the reason it was named Big Vein is that our geologist was walking down here, prospecting and following up on some, uh, some interesting looking, looking quartz float and came across this, um, this vein and, uh, and shouted to the other guys, that he was working with to come down and look at this big vein. And uh, when he came back to camp that night, he just uh, was telling us about this big vein, obviously very excited and uh, the, name, the name stuck. And so this, that's why it looks like that was the uh, discovery outcrop, if you like. This is the, uh, the best uh, sample of visible gold in that uh, from, from big vein. Uh, you can see here on, on the left, uh, circles in which there are lots of little um, little gold grains. Pretty hard to see on, on there, but uh, I've blown up this section here on the right, and you can see the, uh, the visible gold in the, in the quartz right there. And one of the things that uh, is important is that the characteristics that we see in this and other samples are very similar to what we would expect in the epizonal style of gold mineralization. Uh, this is uh, obviously once we found that we uh, we went uh, hard at it to uh, look for more visible gold along the strike length of Big Vein, and these are just some of the some of the results. You can see uh, the purple are the highest, and you can see some uh, some concentrations here up in the north. There's another concentration down here. It's a bit skinny through here. We were somewhat time limited because we we didn't really find the visible gold in the quartz vein until early October. So we had about a month to, to do this work before, uh, before it was covered up with snow. But uh, we, managed, we managed to get some really good results and to uh, obviously manage to put together targets for drilling. And that's really where we're at now. Uh, we've started a 20,000 meter drill program uh, to test uh, big vein initially, you can see here um, the, the planned drill holes, uh, very, very tight spacing. So we're doing a very similar strategy that uh, Newfound Gold has employed at, at Keats and Lotto. We really need to understand how this gold mineralization is plunging before we can do some major step outs. And we're still right here in this area around the, uh, around the visible gold showing. And uh, we'll be slowly working our, our way down to the, to the southwest and up to the northeast. But um, for now, we're still, we're still doing pretty short step outs around the, uh, the visible gold showing. Uh, this is what the shear structure looks like. Um, we have uh, 146 million out now after the, uh, the financing that we announced this morning. Um, warrants are just under 50 million, 7 million options, fully diluted, just over 200 million. Um, no debt and uh, the insider ownership is sure. Most of that is Eric's brought at 12.4%. Uh, and this is a breakdown of the, of the, larger, the larger share structure institutions. Um, that would include Newfound Gold, uh, Crescat Capital, and Palisades Gold Corp, among others, and high net worth investors or P 
people that uh, are obviously like the story and uh, we, we believe are, are pretty strong, strong hands and, and holding the stock. Uh, obviously, this is a, this is a team effort. Uh, here's some of the field crew that we that are helping us right now. Our contractors here, at Ground Truth Exploration, and of course the um, the Newfoundland Labrador Ministry of Natural Resources has a great program, the Junior Exploration Assistance Program, which uh, offers financial support for exploration in the province. It's been doing that for years, and it's just one of the reasons that makes uh, Newfoundland and Labrador an excellent jurisdiction to work in. So I think that's it and uh, happy to take any questions. Fantastic, Roger. Yeah, and just to highlight it for our investors, for anyone, if you did so happen to miss the Newfound Gold story, I mean, both Newfound Gold and Labrador, if you're a moment, have a lot of momentum right now, a lot of strong torque on their valuations. Newfound Gold last September was trading, what, Roger, for like $1.50. It's almost yeah. at $9. It's basically a 10 yeah. bagger. And it's a beautiful exploration story. And Labrador uh, Gold itself, just a couple months ago, March was you know thirty five, forty cents. Uh, Roger, now you're up to you know eighty cents. So, yeah. so really good momentum here. And you can see, I mean, these are these stories are wonderful because it's about the drill, right? As Absolutely. these results coming out, I mean, there's nothing uh, to stop. The, the sky's the limit, um, really, in this area. So. Very excited to have you here and to share the story. There's a lot of enthusiasm and really expose even more of an international audience that we, we do bring here. So that it is about drill results. So give us some more on that. When are your next drill results expected? How, how soon can we expect some news flow on that? Well, I, th I think we put out our first uh, results uh, just over a week ago. Um, once it, it takes, it takes a while for the, um, for the labs to get going through the, through the samples. Um, there, there's anywhere from a five to seven week delay from when you first submit the samples, but we've been submitting samples um, on a weekly basis uh, from the start. So we should be, we should be getting um, results back on a, on a pr fairly regular basis from, uh, from now on. So it, we won't be waiting five to seven weeks anymore. It should be more one, one or two weeks. Okay, that's soon. Excellent. And I mean, Big Vang, obviously extremely intriguing. Uh, and you've touched, uh, you've did a great job uh, expanding on it. But can you give us a, just a little more push down a little bit more on because Big Vang we see at surface, how does it re relate to what's going on uh, at greater depths? Well, it's still uh, still a bit of a mystery to us, to be honest. Uh, we put a few drill holes into it. And uh, we do hit it. Uh, we have some, uh, we have some good, we have some Good results that we put out uh, last, I think it was last Monday, not this this Monday past, but the one before. Um, they weren't barn burners like newfound gold gets, but uh, they were they were certainly significant, especially for the first two holes. Um, so it's it's a work in progress, and uh, we like what we see there. But uh, yeah, I mean we're we're hunting down the high grade now, and uh, I think that's. Uh, we, we're going to be poking a lot of holes into big vein and Did, uh, tr sorry, Roger, finish your thought. I, I was just going to say, we're going to be poking a lot of holes in there to try and figure out exactly where that high grade is and how it may be, how it may be plunging. The, 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 those latest results though, did they do anything for your interpretation of, of big, of big vein? Absolutely. Um, it was, uh, it kind of, um, we didn't quite do a 180, but we we certainly uh, we certainly took those results, and we thought, okay, wait a minute, there's we, we may be chasing down the wrong the wrong path here. So we've uh, we've uh, recalibrated a little bit, and uh, and we'll see how uh, how that works out. Excellent stuff. Okay, Roger, we're gonna have to leave it there, but a very exciting story and one that uh, is gonna have a. Uh, we wish you continued momentum. You've generated a lot, uh, a lot in these last couple of months. So we'll look Thank forward you very to much, seeing Anthony. the results It's great to be here. Really a pleasure having you and have a great time out in Newfoundland. I wish I was out there with you. Oh, yeah, it's a great place to be. No complaints there. Fantastic. Good luck with the rest of the conference. Thanks so much, Roger. You have a great rest of the day. Thanks.